Moby's analysis on episode 58. Now, all drama aside, it is nice to just do a regular reaction video and a regular analysis video. As you can see, my bed is not made. It's just a really slow day. It's raining. It's dang near flooding outside. So uh, let's just let's just watch this analysis, bro, and uh, not worry about anything else that's going on in the world, bro. Let's go. Hello, on. everyone. You are on the Moby channel, and so, I'm Moby. glad to see you on my channel again. Just a few hours ago, a new long-awaited episode 58 was released. True. And in this video, I will analyze in detail the entire 58th episode, Talk show to you me. hidden details that you might not have noticed, and okay. also talk about where the Titan Speaker Man went at the end of this episode, where do you the go? appearance of a secret agent and the secret of his green glow, mm -hmm. and of course we talk about future episodes. The video turned out to be very interesting and informative, as always, so put a like, Let's get 20,000 likes for such an epic series. And How many likes we got? 21K. Good job, y'all. Going to the goal of 200,000 subscribers. Too famous. We're starting. So famous. This 58th episode continues the <clears throat> plot of the last 57th episode. Let me remind you that in episode 57, the Titan Speaker Man was finally cured and he again sided with the agents. And we remember that at the end of episode 57, he flew away. I assumed that he would fly to the base of the agents of the Speaker Man. But nope. I was wrong. He's going for war. From it's war time. He flew for the Titan G toilet. Now he is very angry at Skibbity Toilet so for what they did to him and he wants revenge. Therefore, this episode turned out to be very epic. The episode begins with a frame that has been leaked to us in the author's Discord channel for a long Indeed. time. Those who follow my community tab on YouTube already know about it. And so, these cameramen climbed the pole in the hope of escaping from the toilets. And as we can see, not everyone succeeds. For example, this agent can no longer be helped. Then the okay, camera turns and we see the cameraman's agent running away from the new skibbity toilet. As we can see, it has sharp paws that pierce the victim like spears. Why he accumulates them is unclear. Perhaps he collects them as trophies. He's or then a takes sicko. Them to a skibbity scientist and he makes new inventions from Oh, that, that could work. Next, they, they collect like cameraman parts to make upgrades okay that makes sense this mutant notices the operator and comes right at us here we can consider in detail this new skibbity mutant as i said earlier he has sharp spider paws he also has two circulating saws a very powerful jetpack and some kind of jewelry glasses or what are these glasses called write in the comments if you know next this mutant almost flew up to the operator but then we hear a loud roar and a second later the Titan Speaker Man with a kick on the big skibbity toilet breaks into this episode. He immediately, easily and quickly destroys two large toilets, then takes off into the air, destroys the flying toilet and also destroys the skibbity toilet's cannon. Big man, I know a lot of y'all, it's funny, a lot of y'all was like, yo cozy, this takes place in London. Why does it matter where it's taking place? Like what 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 does that have to do with anything? Like that literally does nothing for the plot. It takes place in Africa, it takes place in the United States, it takes place in Saudi Arabia and Canada. Like well that it don't matter, bro. It really doesn't. I mean it, it looks cool, but I don't understand why what why was that such a point of emphasis in the comment section that it takes place in London? What does that do for me? You 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 think Speaker Man is gonna start sipping tea out of nowhere? You think the Skibidi Toilets are gonna sing the song in a British accent? They put on the floor of the. Why am I hating? I, I don't know, bro. Big Ben. Saw that negative energy from the drama. Bro. Next, the camera turns and we see how another opponent appears in the field of view of the Titan. The Titan Speaker Man, with rage and all his speed on the jetpack, flies into this opponent from which he explodes. Next, the camera turns again on those same three cameramen on a lamppost and then we can notice our friend the secret agent Dathagor. Yeah, I seen him on accident. We can again see a green glow near him. Let me the remind portal, you the green portal. also observe this green glow in the last 57 episode. I'll assume that thanks to this green glow, he teleports to different locations. He stands idly by and just watches what is happening. I wonder how many more episodes we will have to wait for this character to finally be revealed to us. After all, we don't even know which side he is on and why he is watching what is happening. I once shot a separate video about him, where I gave one very interesting theory. Therefore, then be sure to look at it, and I will continue the analysis. Then the camera turns sharply and we see our strong and fast Titan speaker man again. The same skibbity mutant flies up to the back of his head, but this time the Titan turned out to be much faster, managed to react in time and grab this opponent. He goes into a rage, starts growling, and almost shoots his powerful cannon at the enemy. Yeah, from which shoots he dies. him in his mouth. Next, it's crazy. The Titan speaker man is surrounded by flying skibbity toys. He pulled out they the 360 Quisco maneuver. A big explosion. 
but the Titan Speaker Man has a new improved armor, so their charges were too weak to penetrate his armor. Uh -huh. He takes off into the air. Epic loads Activate his turbine guns, mode. Starts spinning like a turret accurately and accurately <laughs> eliminates all flying <laughs> enemies. And after he made sure that this territory was cleared and there were no opponents left, he flies on. And where he flew, I'll tell you a little later. Therefore, I repeat, but watch this video to the end. Further, after the Titan Speaker Man flies away, we see the familiar Titan Cameraman. He inspects the territory, tries to find opponents, but finds no one. Then he spreads his mechanical wings and flies away after the Titan Speaker Man. Chasing after his Next, brother. The camera again shows us those same three cameraman agents. Only now their lives are not in danger and they can safely descend. One of them even shows us a like, and this is a sign that it's time like for you the to like the Moby video. This video <laughs> if you haven't done it yet. And this is the end of episode 58. Now let's talk about where the Titan Speaker Man flew, and the Titan Cameraman flew after him. I assume they flew to the Skibbity Toilet Base. After all, the Titan Speaker Man remembers everything that happened to him. Yeah, That's he won't why revenge. He's so angry. And since he remembers everything, it means that he knows exactly where he was improved, and this was most likely a laboratory or some kind of Skibbity Toilet database. But because he either they abandoned it or they're preparing and they know that it, 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 they're coming. Once revenge, he is it's a very bad move, angry and this can make him vulnerable. Because we know the scientist Therefore, is smart. In the next 59 episode, we will most likely see how Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man fight together. And I also have a theory that Titan TV Man is being held hostage on this Skibbity Toilet database because after episode 47, we have not seen him and do not have any information on him. Confirming my theory. I will give an example of the appearance of a toxic Skibbity skeleton in episode 55. After all, he appeared just as the Titan TV man first appeared. Perhaps the opponents are forcing him to teleport his that Skibbity could make sense. to different points in order And I mean, it could also attest to like the higher amounts of involvement with the TV people. Because uh, they kind of was like a little bit out and now they're in and now they feel like they got to do more. So prevent the agents it could be facts them. it could there be are facts also very interesting details that you might not have noticed when you first watched the episode the first is that the hammer of the titan cameraman is again on his back let me remind you that in the last episode it broke the titan cameraman used a hammer against the titan g toilet and then i assumed that his hammer was destroyed but no as we can see his jet hammer is also behind it's either a texture thing or when the hammer exploded it was like symbolic that he smacked him with it and it just all like exploded and fell down and he picked it up afterwards one of the two find him for this many thanks to this person who left a comment under my post it was he who wrote to me about it thank you very much and also at the end of the episode we can see how the secret agent leaves the building most likely we will see him again in the next episode I am sure that he is teleporting behind the Titans and now he is watching them. Unfortunately, we were not shown how he will teleport, but I think in future episodes we will definitely find out. One of my subscribers also writes about this. He assumes that the agent can be shown to us very soon, and by the way, I also really hope so. Thank you for your comment and if you also want to get into my video, then just write your theories in the comments under my videos. And the more interesting theories and comments you write, the more chance you have to get into my next video. Now let me tell you what I expect to see from episode 59. Okay, I expect to me. see an epic battle, a secret laboratory of skibbity toilets. Perhaps we will see the G toilet. I don't know, maybe 60. I don't know, 59. And most importantly, I expect to see the Titan TV Man because every ninth episode we see new technology from the agents of TV Mans. For example, in episode 39 we were shown the agent of TV Man for the first time. In episode 49 we saw TV Woman for the first time. So in episode Dang. 59 I expect to see the Titan TV Man. I think that's coincidence. No way. Or improved. Would just like to know where it is now and what is happening to it. After all, perhaps he is being held hostage, or perhaps he is at the base of cameraman agents and there he is being improved and repaired. Write in the comments what you expect from episode 59 and how you like this 58 episode. I will be very interested to know your opinion. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that analysis video right there. That's interesting. I never realized that every ninth episode, that's that, that was a thing. But I don't know. Let me know y'all theories down below in the comments. I do be reading them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And keep supporting the SkiBD community despite everything going on in the background. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for everybody that supports me. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.